Good morning. This is Pamela the Stampin' Pink Rose with a uh, Technique Wednesday video. On Monday, I started in about the stamp apparatus and how it can be a time-saving tool. And everybody keeps telling about, okay, you can use repeat stamping, repeat stamping. So that way, if you mess up on your stamp image and it doesn't stamp right away because it just wasn't inked right or you didn't apply the right pressure then the stamp apparatus is perfect however it also has some additional uses and as you can see down below there is this beautiful tree this idea came by the way of my friend Patty and I thought I would show it because it's a wonderful way to see how to use your stamp apparatus and expand the use and you're going to find this vital in creating wonderful beautiful projects so now I'm going to take this card away and this was using the winter wonder uh, winter woods if you're wondering about the words that came from the dashable deer and the background is the buffalo check stamp set and I've got it in the room so I don't, uh, got it out of the box but it's like this and I'm going to show you two different ones. This one I think I use, call me Clover. This one here, I use Shaded Spruce. And then I added the trinkets that went with the Rooted in Nature part on that. So, it came out real pretty. There is this one that I am not as happy with. Can you see the difference in the coloring? Oh, you're seeing a little difference of some bright color in there. Okay, we're going to find out what it is. Now, I'm going to stand up a minute because I want to make sure my big shot is... I don't mean big shot. My stamp apparatus is in the thing. Okay, now I'm going to scoot my chair over just a little. All right. I have a piece of paper that, for this one, somebody's going to ask me, is three and a half by uh, five. No, four and three-fourths. I take it back. Four and three-fourths. Okay. You will need your stamp apparatus. And this one is red rubber. Remember with red rubber, we don't need the extra cushioning. So I'll take that out of there. I'm going to put a magnet down here. Remember not to let your magnets touch each other. Are we good so far? Okay, good. Okay. And I have my winter woods here. Okay. I'm going to lay it down right where I want it. And I'm going to use another tip. I'm going to use the buffalo check. Check. And I'm going to put it under here because then it leaves it. And you probably can't see it, but where the lid is, where this flips over, when you flip it back, the buffalo check is underneath. Okay? All right. I don't want to go out too far because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So, all right. Let's go through colors so you get yourself organized. We're going to start with Mint Macaroon. We're going to move to Pear Bazazz. And these are all markers. Okay. All markers. Okay. Then you're going to move to Mossy Meadow and caution you on that. That's where I kept playing with it because I did not like a lot of Mossy Meadow in there. Okay. Then I moved to Call Me Clover. Followed by Shaded Spruce. And that's it on the tree part of the, not the, not the uh, trunk, okay? Not the trunk. This is just the other, okay? Then for the trunk, oh, and I did add, I'm going to preface this in a minute for something, okay? Then I did crumb cake on the trunk, lightly, particularly at the bottom, Soft suede and 
grab one that I didn't need by accident. And early espresso. Okay. Then I went in and added a little bit up on the trunk of Cajun Craze. And then I followed it into the trees. That is where you're getting your speck of that brightness. Is a little bit of the Cajun Craze up in the tree. And I like that up there. Okay. All right. So let's get started with this. So now I'm going to press down and make sure it's fastened in there. Okay, and I'm thinking it's crooked. So I'm going to do this again because it looked like it might have been crooked. Okay, got it. Okay. Now I'm going to scoot this over. Let's see if I can widen you out a little bit. And I don't want to make you dizzy. Nope, that brings it in. Let's see if I can bring this up a little bit. Sorry, guys. Okay. All right. You're going to get a partial of one and a partial of there, and I'll keep scooting it a little bit. Okay, what I want you to right now focus on is the... Uh, image the rubber stamping okay so I'm gonna grab and I'm using not the fine tip but the wider one I'm gonna grab the mint macaroon and I'm gonna swirl right at the top okay, okay. I think you're seeing that then all I'm going to do is bring it over and press it down. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to scoot. Can you see how you've got that? Okay. And as we do, I'll bring it closer in for you when we get closer to done. Okay. So there goes that one. Now I'm going to grab a pair of pizzazz. And I want to grab again the wider and I am doing a circular swirl right below where the other was if it goes into the other it won't hurt and down I go on it okay okay you can see a corner of the project okay now I'm gonna lay that aside the next one I'm gonna grab is call me clover no I apologize Mossy Meadow, and I'm going to be very careful with this one. I am not, I'm almost doing a little bit of stroke, and then I'll kind of color it in a little, but be very careful because I think it gets too dark. We can always add more. Okay. We can always add more. We can always go back up. Now I'm going to go call me Clover. And I'm going to kind of go right into the mossy metal a little. Okay. And I'm going to press down. Okay. And if I want to tone something down, I can tone it down. And we'll do that in a minute. Okay. Then my next step is shaded spruce. And that one will go a little bit farther down in. And by the way, you can always take a cloth and blot off. Okay. And I'm going to do just a little bit of a blot this time around. Let's see how it goes. Okay. There it's going in. Okay. Now we're going to move to the tree trunk. And we're going to start with crumb cake. And I'm doing kind of at the bottom of the trunk. Towards the bottom. Not so much up into the trees with the cr uh, crumb cake. Then my next move is to go to over the crumb cake. But guys, I didn't go all the way to the bottom. Just kind of in the middle. Bring the crumb cake with the sauce weight up into the tree a little bit more not all the way into the tree with the leaves is what I'm referring to 
Then I'm taking Early Espresso and I'm going all the way up and I'm not making sure that they are equal into the tree itself. Okay? I'm going to give it a little bit of varying height. Okay. And I should have stamped when I did the other a minute ago, but I didn't. Okay? But that's okay. Okay. That got the crumb cake in there. And I'm going to go back and do a little more crumb cake at the base. And I'm going to bring it down. Now this is at the bottom of the tree. And make sure it stays. There we go. Okay. Now, I've got it up there. Now, you're wondering about the Cajun crates. What I did with that was I started where we had the leaf part. This part of it in here where it meets... And I just, in different spots, went up and added the K, okay? And I want a couple up higher. So I'm just going to go up higher with a little bit. And this is fun. And all you need to do is just play with your markers. Okay, now see how I've done this? Okay, let's bring you in closer now, okay? And bring it in okay all right now I'm gonna move it relax okay all right now can you see I'm gonna bring it real close it see whoops see how there's the uh, the Cajun craze in there given the color now you can see the detail of this if I want, I'm going to bring it back down and bring you out. Okay. If I want, I can go back and add a little more pair of pizzazz up at the top and do it that way. Okay. And see, I add a little more at the top there. Your secret is to play with it. I will list all of the markers. And I will list them in the order that I started on the coloring. So you have an idea of what I did. Okay? So, go play with your stamparatus. Go play with your markers. Try it on Frosted, the new Frosted one. Try it on Rooted Nature. Give it a try on some different ones on your coloring to get your colorings and textures and use your markers. Don't forget, you've also got this one here that looks like a Christmas tree that you could use and you could do a series of them together and stamp them. Okay, this is Pamela the Stampin' Pink Rose. Uh, keep an eye on my blog. Uh, there's a special announcement in there today on that, so make sure you read it. Um, and keep stamping and enjoy and start getting stuff blooming in your garden because my garden is blooming with ideas. With the great holidays coming up, there's a lot to be done. So thank you for joining me, and I appreciate it. Take care.